I'm gonna show off real quick something I'm working on um, this controller for Flight Simulator. Um, you can see over here the screen says Nav 1, and I can cycle through different modes of things I'm controlling with this uh, this particular encoder here. So I've got Nav 1, comms, I've got fours, OBS, transponder, HDI, and altimeter. Um, and I can go through all those different modes if I want to with this rotary. Uh, and then with this one, I can actually change the values. So if you look up here, um, this is the NAV1 radio. You can see uh, as I twist this encoder when it's on the NAV1 mode, it um, changes the uh, small value. If I click it in, it now changes the larger value on the uh, NAV1. Click it again, of course it goes back to the, uh, the small mode. If I hold it down for one second, it switches it does the swap, so now um, what I had just set is now in use. Of course, I can then change this to nav2, and the one on the bottom will be the one I'm controlling now uh, with this same encoder. Um, get that in view. There we go. So you can see the bottom one's moving now. So it's, uh, I don't know, 110.5. Oh, they're both 110.5. That's not a good uh, example. Let's do about 114.4. So I hold that down, and it swaps. Uh, of course, I can then go to uh, COM1 and COM2, uh, these radios over here. Uh, there's COM1, and then uh, switch this over to COM2. And one on the bottom is now the one that's moving. Um, then I have the VOR. Let me see if I can get that in your view here. And that's going to be this up here, uh, this top one. Um, and then when I move this around, you'll see that um, the direction it's heading is uh, changing, which is cool. And of course, VOR2, I have that um, as well. That one's on the bottom here. Uh, so I can move that one, change the heading on that one. Uh, the next mode is OBS. Um, that's uh, I don't really have a good um, I don't think I have that one synced quite yet. So transponder, let's do that one. Uh, so that's down here. Make sure that's in view. Um, it's kind of maybe a little hard to see because it's kind of dark in the plane. But uh, the first one controls the large number. And I click it, and then it goes to the second largest number, the hundreds. Click it again, it goes to the uh, the tens, and then finally I can control the ones. And of course, it cycles back around to the thousands. Um, and then altimeter is up here. Uh, so in this little window here is what I'm controlling with this particular mode. Uh, so I can turn that and you can see the altimeter changes. Um, anyway, there's uh, other modes I might add in the future, like some autopilot settings um, and hopefully did into a nice enclosure. But uh, I think it's pretty cool so far. I love using it.